Alright guys, we are back on the website and we are checking out some more of these brand new animatronics for 2023 from Spirit Halloween. Today, we are going to check out, let's get to the animatronics here quick, new arrivals. The one we are going to look at right now, I have been waiting to look at for a few days here. And we're going to check out Lil Jack Carver. Little Jack Carver, but it's spelled L-I-L. His first name is not Lil. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> this one is totally awesome. You guys know I love the classic Halloween stuff. The pumpkins, the jack-o'-lanterns, the hay bales. And this is an awesome mix of all of it. Look at this. We got the awesome pumpkins in the background, the carved jack-o'-lanterns that are lit. We got the hay bales. And we got this guy, Lil Jack Carver, sitting on the hay bales. He appears to be, maybe he's like a, a scarecrow, or maybe he was the farmer, and he got killed and made into a scarecrow. Either way, he has a scary jack-o'-lantern head. Now, I already did see in the trailer where that head pops up. So he's like kind of, well, he's not really ripping off his head. He's just removing the scary pumpkin to reveal his scary face. So I'm anxious to read this description and find out like the story behind this guy. So let's roll down here a little bit. And the description says, It was always Jack be nimble or Jack be quick. The orphaned farm boy was sick and tired of being bossed around by his foster family. With only the moon to guide him, he snuck out into the pumpkin patch one night to smash their prized gourd as payback. Unfortunately, he only got as far as the first coyote trap. <laughs> Not so nimble or quick after all. Now Pumpkin Boy crouches in wait, hidden in the patch's overgrown vines, holding tightly to his demonic jack-o'-lantern and waiting for the next unfortunate pumpkin picker to cross his path. Human bones make the best fertilizer. What the heck, man? <laughs> All right, so let's roll back up here. Um, yeah, he is three and a half feet tall, basically. A little bit taller than that. Little Jack Carver animatronic. $169.99. He is available on the website right now, and it does not say that he's only available online. So he's probably going to be in stores. Um, I've already described this picture here. He is pretty awesome looking. Let's see. Let's go down to the next one. Here's one without the background. Um, you obviously have to sit him on something. So hay bales are going to be the best thing if you can do that. This next picture here, he has the pumpkin down over his head. That's an awesome picture right there. That, to me, is just screaming Halloween. I love it. The scarecrow sitting there with hay hanging out the bottom of his pants. And, oh, his hands are hay, too. He doesn't even have real hands. They're hay. And he's holding onto his scary pumpkin head with his hay hands. So, <laughs> the next picture here is him holding his head up again. Let's see. And here's from behind. Hmm, kind of strange that the back of his head is not a pumpkin also. It's just this weird black fabric. I wish it was a, a full pumpkin. That tells me that it's more like a pumpkin mask, which is kind of crazy. I wish it was a full pumpkin. Uh, the next one is from the side, and yeah, you can see the front of the pumpkin face, and then the back, which is just that black fabric. I wonder why they did that. Just to save a little bit of plastic, I guess. Um, here's a close-up of his face. <laughs> Of his, with, the, with the pumpkin down on his shoulders. And then here's a close-up of him with the pumpkin up above his head. So, um, oh, we got one more picture here. Yeah, it's just the one that shows how tall he is. Although I gotta say, oh, okay. It says he's three and a half feet tall, but in this picture, he's more like four and a half feet tall, but that's because he's holding up the jack-o'-lantern. So that makes him a little bit taller. So let's go on back up here and pull up the video. I am so anxious to watch this video. I hope he says something. Um, something really creepy. <laughs> I, I didn't look at what he says or doesn't say or what kind of sounds he makes, but I know that he probably, at the very least, 
pulls that thing off his head and screams or something like that. So let's go ahead and watch. I love a, a jump scare prop. I love them. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> okay. So, I like how he has the kid's voice, but you guys know what I'm thinking of right now. Johnny Punk, what the heck, man? Um, okay, this guy still, he beats the heck out of Johnny Punk. I mean, just his look is 150% better. But that voice, I, I wonder if the same kid did his voice and Johnny Punk's voice. Because... It just reminds me so much of Johnny Punk. It's totally different, but it's also very similar. I think it's a very cool prop. I love the pumpkin. I love the look of the whole thing. I love the Halloween-y feel. And I love how he rips that thing off his head. If he has any actual phrases, I guess we'll find out when we see him in person. But as far as this video goes, he didn't say anything. He, I don't think so. I think he just ripped his head off and yelled, and then he laughed at us for getting scared, I guess. So, I, I guess it's about what I expected. Um, I was hoping he'd be a little more scarier than that, but, uh, but he's still a pretty cool prop. I love the way he looks, so I'm not complaining at all. And again, the price of $169.99, that's not too bad of a price for this guy. He's a pretty dang cool animatronic. So, all right, guys, stick around. We still have some more to go.